Now, if you're using Google Slides to create your presentation, chances are that you will need to work with shapes in Google Slides at some point in time or the other. Now, one of the first things that you will need to know is how to fill shapes in Google Slides. And that's exactly what I'm going to be talking about in today's video. I'm going to show you three different ways in which you can fill shapes in Google Slide. The first method is going to talk about fill shapes with colors in Google Slides, where I'm going to show you how you can use solid colors, how you can use gradients, plus also add transparency to the shapes when you fill it with color. The second and the third method is actually going to talk about how to fill shapes with gradients and images. That's right. Now, I'm sure you're aware that there is no option in Google Slide that allows you to fill shapes with pictures or fill shapes with patterns by default. So I've got a great hack. I just I'm quite excited to share this with you. It's going to blow your mind. It's going to be very helpful. It's pretty simple. It's easy to implement and you can do it even as a beginner. And I'm just quite excited to share this with you. And I'm going to share that with, the, with you at the end of the video. So make sure that you stick around to the end. And without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Shroth and I'm the guy behind this YouTube channel and the associated website artofpresentations.com where I share with you tips, tricks and basically everything that's got to do with presentations and help you master the art of presentations. And before we begin with this video, just wanted to highlight that everything that I'm going to be sharing with you in this video, I've actually documented that in one of my articles on my website. So that way you don't actually have to worry about taking notes for this video. And if at any point in time you, you know, feel like you're, you're missing out on some of the stuff that you need to know, you can easily access the article rather than scrubbing through the video back and forth. Just go to Google and type in art of presentations dot com and then type in how to fill shapes in Google Slides. The first article that appears, just click on it and this will lead you to this particular article. This is what it looks like and you will know that you're on the right article when you see out of presentations and the title. This will help you make sure that the steps that I'm going to be talking about are in fact going to be visible in this article over here. So uh, make sure that you have this article available open in another tab just to have a reference for your uh, for the video and for the steps that you will follow in your own presentation as well. Now I've actually gone ahead and opened up a presentation a Google Slides presentation just to save us some time and I'm going to show you the three methods right away. The first method that I mentioned is how to uh, fill shapes with colors. So let's just go ahead and insert a blank slide. The way we do that is just select a slide and a click enter. This will insert a new slide and then you can just change the layout to a blank layout. And now we're going to want to add a shape to the slide. Now there are a couple of ways you can actually add shapes to your slide. Now the easiest is actually to use the toolbar and I'm just going to show that uh, very quickly in a moment, but you can also use the insert tab by clicking on insert and then you can just scroll down to shapes then choose shapes over here and you will get a bunch of different options, bunch of different shapes that you can choose from. And for now, I'm just going to use the rectangular shape. So click on it. You'll notice that the cursor becomes a, you know, kind of a crosshair, a plus sign or kind of a cursor. Then you're just going to want to drag the cursor on your slide and this will insert the shape on your slide. You can do the same thing from the shape menu over here, the shape options, shape button in the toolbar. Just click on it. Click on shapes and you get the same options over here as well. Now once you have the shape available, one thing that you're going to want to note is that by default, there are certain options which are not visible unless you have the shape highlighted. Once you have the shape selected, just make a note what happens over here. So when you click on shape, you see there are a bunch of different other options that open up and these are basically additional options that help you format the shape and we are interested in yeah, you know, we are interested in filling the shape with colors. So uh, the way we can do that is make sure that we select the shape first and then click on this option called fill color. This will basically allow you to add color to the shape. Now you notice that there's a gray color by default. That is a default for Google Slides in general, but you can also change the color by choose a color of your preference. I'm going to go with one of the colors over here. And as soon as you click on the color, you will notice that the color of the shape changes. So this is how you fill the shape with colors in Google Slides. Now there are a couple of additional things that I would want to highlight over here. This is uh, how you can actually add a solid color. You can also add a gradient color. 
again there are a bunch of different options which are available by default you can use any of these options uh, so for example i'm just going to use this one over here and you'll see that there is a gradient green or a teal with black and that's the kind of gradient that is available by default in this but you also have an option to create your own custom gradients and own custom solid color as well so for instance if you don't like the colors which are available over here and you want to go with your own color own brand color google slides allows you to do that as well all you got to do is just click on this plus button and you can choose the hue from here and choose the color from the from this section over here by dragging these sliders so let's just say that i'm just going to change this hue to a bluish color and then you can choose to go with one of the bluish colors over here by dragging this circle anywhere in this box now the other way of doing that is by knowing the hex code if you know the hex code of your color you can actually directly paste it over here I'm not aware of an hex code, so I'm just going to leave that for now. You can also play with the transparency of the of the color that you're adding to the shape by using this section over here. Now, bear in mind, this is not making the color lighter. This is making the box transparent. There is a small difference in that, and I'll explain that in a moment. But just keep that thought in mind that you can actually make the shape transparent. The fill color that you're adding to the shape. You can make this shape transparent by using this transparency option provided now i'm just going to go ahead and select one blue color over here just to show you an example and this is how the fill shape color is going to change uh, and that's the custom color that we've just created you can also create a custom gradient color by using this plus sign just make sure that you click on gradient first and then click on plus option there are a bunch of different uh, options that are provided in this window right over here so you'll see you can actually create a linear or a radial gradient the radial gradient is basically the one which you know which goes out from the center outwards and linear is the one which goes in one direction you can use the angle option to change the linear uh, linear uh, the gradient from one direction to the other and if you choose if you wish you can actually change the color of the various gradients that you wish to go with as well you can actually choose any of the colors instead of gray and uh, you can create your own custom gradients by clicking on each of these options and choosing a different color you will be able to create a different gradient i hope that makes sense i'm not going to make a new gradient color right now but this is pretty much how you would insert a solid color or a gradient color for your shape so that's how you fill shape with color in Google Slides. Now I'm, I'm going to show you the second and the third method that I talked about. So let's, let me just insert a new slide over here. The second method that I want to show is how to fill shapes with images. Now I mentioned that there is no option available by default in Google Slides, but there is a workaround and the workaround is, let me actually change the slide. Let me actually pull out a different slide so that I can show you how that works in a slightly different manner. Um, say we have this kind of a slide and this is something that I created slightly a little while back and I just wanted to show this to you as well uh, this is how you've I've actually managed to insert this image in a shape in a circular shape now by default in PowerPoint there are options which are available in the format tab you can actually merge shape with images and you can create a circular image but in Google Slides that default option is not available but what you can do is you can use the mask image option and let me just walk you through how you can do it let me show it to you how we can do it so let me just duplicate the slide first and i'm gonna i'm gonna remove this image over here the first thing that i'm gonna do is insert an image now, i don't have an image available on my computer so i'm just gonna insert an image from the internet so i'm just gonna click on search the web and here since we're talking about an individual i just want to search uh, add an image for an individual Let's just type in man any one person is good enough so scroll through it and see if there's an image that you like you can go with any any individual image which has a face on it that should be good so let's just go ahead with this one click on it and insert this will add the image to your slide now what you're going to want to do is contrary to what you typically would have done in in um in in an application like a powerpoint you don't need to add a shape and an image separately and then try to work with it. In Google Slides, what you need to do is insert the image first and then work with that image to convert it into a shape by using the mask image feature. Now you have to keep the image selected. Then you wanna go back to the, the toolbar over here. You see these additional options which are available. 
and when you click on the uh, not the crop image option but the downward facing arrow right over here that's the mask image option you click on this downward arrow click on shapes and choose a shape in which you want to insert or convert this image into so i'm just going to go ahead with a I want to create a circular shape just the way we, I, I showed you earlier in this video. So I'm going to choose oval because by default there is no circle option in Google Slides. So we just click on oval. Now you'll notice that uh, this actually converts this not in a circle but actually in an oval shape. But what we want is actually a circle. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to select this, keep this image selected and now I'm going to click on the crop image option. Once I do that, it actually allows me with additional options. Google Slides will provide me app options to adjust the image, an image which has been masked into a shape. So now I can actually drag the cursor from here. These are basically the crop handles. I'm going to drag these handles from the bottom uh, and drag it into a sort of a circular shape. Now, as you can see, it's an estimation over here. It's not an exact match but you can basically adjust the image over here you can drag the image in the corner to make it smaller or bigger and then you can move it a little bit up and down and then when, once you're done once you've created a circle uh, you can just press escape and uh, you will have a image in a circular shape so that's how you fill a shape with image in google slides pretty neat right so once you're done with this, you can actually adjust the image the way you want on the slide. You can even add uh, the borders over here. Typically how you would add a border to a shape is you select the shape and then go to the toolbar, click on the border color and then choose a border typically what you would like. So I've gone with a blue border that's a custom color and you will notice that there is a light border over here which has been added to this image. So that's how you fill shape with an image. Now let's just try and figure out how we can fill shape with patterns. Now, as I mentioned before, again, there is no default option to fill shape with patterns in Google Slides. But what we can do is be a little clever and actually insert an image which has patterns and use the same method which I described in the second, me the second method that I just described to you right now and use that method to actually you know, mask that image into a shape that we want. For, so for example, let me just show you, uh, let me go back to our blank slide over here. Let me insert um, an image that has a pattern format. So I'm gonna click on insert and from an image option, search the web. Now instead of man, I'm gonna search for a pattern image. So you can just choose to search for a pattern image and uh, you'll get a bunch of different options. So this one looks nice and interesting. So I'm just gonna click on this, select it and click insert. This will insert this pattern image on our slide. You can actually choose to expand this for the and make it fit the whole slide but for the sake of this example i'm not going to do that i'm just going to show you how you can actually convert this image now mask it once again just the way we did it previously in this video and convert it to any other shape that we desire the way we do that once again we hover over we make sure that we select this image hover over this option of crop image and click on this drop down arrow over here choose the shape that we want to convert this image to say for example i want to convert this into um, a trapezoid or a parallelogram we can choose either of them or let's just say we want to convert it into a triangle so i click on a triangle and you will notice that this image actually has been converted into a triangle now as i mentioned before you will not be able to fill a shape with a pattern by default but this is a very quick way and a very efficient way of how you can fill an image with patterns in google slides so while you've learned all these methods what i'm going to want you to do next is check out some of the videos that you can see on the screen and uh, this will actually help you upskill your uh, your powerpoint game your google slides game your presentation game altogether and i will see you in my next video